What you're looking at is considered by many to be the most advanced electric air taxi on the planet. We've been talking about electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, or EVTOLs, for quite a while now. But nobody could blame you if you've never heard of Joby Aviation. They've been around since 2009. That's pretty much longer than any other player in this space. They've been flying under the radar for the most part, but they recently finally gave us a look at what they've been working on. Joby released two videos on its YouTube channel. The first one speaks for itself. It's just over one minute long and shows the vehicle take off, move to horizontal flight, then land. The second video is about two minutes of founder Jobin Bevert talking about the company's plans with the vehicle behind it. We'll get to more on that later, but the real highlight of this video is the end. About a minute and a half in, you can see the rotors start to spin in the background. Then about 10 seconds later, we are one step closer to making this fantastic future real. We can't wait to welcome you on board. Thank you so much. Now sure, this was an opportunity to show the aircraft in action, but more significant than just flying was the lack of any real noise. You may have noticed Bavert didn't have to raise his voice over the sound coming from right behind him. Now, I didn't see a lav mic like this one that I'm using anywhere on him. And while they could have been using a boom mic to record his audio, I'm gonna let my friend Brian Cooley demonstrate why that really wouldn't matter. Even mic'd up, I can't really compete over the noise of this portable air compressor. And these are a lot quieter than a helicopter. Thanks, Brian. And that lack of noise is really what makes air taxis so appealing for urban transportation. It's not really practical to have helicopters running through residential neighborhoods all day and night. They're just too loud. Not to mention. I'm sure everyone has sort of wanted to like put on their cape and sort of like Superman over the traffic. That's Joby's executive chairman, Paul Shira. I had a chance to talk with him about why Joby felt now was the right time for its coming out party, so to speak. And we'll get to that in just a minute, but first, let's take a closer look at the aircraft. It's powered by six electric motors, both for the vertical takeoff and landing and for cruising. It seats five people, including the pilot, and has a top speed of 200 miles per hour. Joby says it has a range of 150 miles. Now, Paul told me in these videos we're seeing here, a pilot is controlling the aircraft from the ground, but the plan is to have pilots in the cockpit when the air taxi service is actually up and running. Our approach is a little bit more Tesla versus say Waymo. So get something out there that's differentiated in terms of the core vehicle, but is operated in a very traditional way, and then stage and then stepwise kind of move to a progressively more autonomous future. Joby says it's completed more than a thousand successful test flights, but if that's the case, why are we just seeing it now? I mean, you could argue this is becoming a pretty crowded space, with a lot of players showing off their videos on YouTube and Instagram for years. We felt like we kind of were at a point where we're hitting the specifications that we think are really important for being able to deliver commercial service. So now felt like the right time to tell um, a little bit more about the story, about the vehicle, and about what it can enable um, for customers on the other side. Now, it's also probably worth noting that Joby is going public on the New York Stock Exchange with a company called reInvent Technology Partners. So that probably played a role in the timing as well. So what else does Joby have going for it? It's got a manufacturing deal with Toyota worth about $600 billion. Oh, and it also acquired a little company you may have heard of called Uber Elevate. The next 10 years are for us a lot about commercialization. So this was the group inside of Uber that was doing work on market simulation, um, dynamic pricing, uh, demand forecasting, as well as building some of the tools that allow for more seamless shifts between a multimodal journey. So moving people from cars into aerial vehicles and then back into cars on the other side. Now the questions that always seem to come up around these type of aircraft is around the regulatory red tape. Well, that's another place where Joby appears to have a leg up on the competition already agreed to certification terms with the FAA, meaning Joby knows exactly the requirements it has to meet over the next few years of testing to get its aircraft certified for commercial flight. Folks have been talking about flying taxis, flying cars for a long time. It's sort of been this Jetsons future. It's always been like five or 10 years away. Um, now, given where we stand on the technical development of the aircraft, given where we stand on the certification side of things, we've got an opportunity to bring this service 
and make it useful to people very, very soon. Now, like I've said, there are a lot of companies vying to be the first to get commercial air taxis in the skies. But it's tough to argue that Joby isn't at least in the top few contenders, given how long it's been around and where it stands with the FAA. So now that these appear to be closer than ever, what do you think about the concept of urban air taxis? Do you think we'll actually be riding these to work, to school, maybe even the bar? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching. I'm Andy Altman. I'll see you in the future.